Ready for travel! Well, now you ready to go back to Australia? Yeah, I'm ready to look at the kangaroo. Boarding this fooging plane to Melbourne. Remember, get your flights, not feelings. It's time for sleep. Flying to Melbourne. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Melbourne. Oi, mate. Ossie, Ossie, Ossie. Welcome to Melbourne, guys. Look at this crap over here. We're all waiting for. Uh, the luggage and then we are going back to our hotel chill and uh, Torben is going to prepare some theory there's no uh, way you are not fresh you are not, you're not so fresh he's right going to prepare some theory and yes we are going to start acting. yes I just uh, woke up uh, from 13 <laughs> hours flight <laughs> in jet lag already it's going to be fun good morning everyone welcome to Melbourne we are jet lagged like crazy. The time is now 7 a.m. in the morning. Camera guy, Chriso and myself is out wandering around the city, been walking around for like five kilometers or something. Today is a off day, getting used to the jet lag, exploring the city, see what Melbourne has to offer. I know a lot of the FlyQuest guys have given us some good recommendations for restaurants to try out, so follow us as we wander around Melbourne to see what the beautiful city of Australia has to offer for us. But Martin, how are you in this morning? What was the first first thing you did in the morning? I looked at the sky and, and I, I, I checked the Stewie's clutch. Stewie's on his own. We had a triple box, but look at the time! <laughs> Rain is trying to punch in the numbers! <laughs> We're going to the zoo. I mean, we have a lot of animals in the team. I don't know why we're going to the zoo. <laughs> I mean, we have different kind of ones, you know? You are mice. No, <laughs> yeah, you are mice. No, 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 I'm a lion. <laughs> have you seen how the kangaroo fights? Like a normal human. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> Odna versus kangaroo, who wins? Me. Of course. Like, you, you know, know, you know be like. You know what I'll I will be like. Uh, <laughs> no. You know what I think? What? After 30 seconds of fighting, you will be sitting in that pack in front. Look what this guy is doing. At the end of the interview. Oh. 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 of the most deadly predators on the planet. The mixture of European culture makes them one of the most poisonous people in the world. They breed and mate every day at least 30 times. Look at them. The muscular body shows the strength of their qualities inside of the game. Peak performance right here. Oh my god, the control of that fucking dog. My Eastern Europe duo, do all. what do you rate the uh, zoo? Honestly, not that great. I think we've hit an off day for many animals. Like people are like they're home. Or yeah, something. off day. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't see much, but uh, we saw kangaroos, and panda, and koala. I mean, not panda. Actually, there's no panda. Tigers. Tigers, lion. They were sleeping. Yeah, they were tired. Very good. Very good. Just like us. <laughs> Thank you. 
How long have you been awake all day? For many hours. Really? Did you wake up? No, like 30 minutes ago. I think we might have ordered a kebab in there as well. Me and the trucker. Middle of the night. A midnight kebab? Midnight 03 kebab. How's the jet lag going for you? You remember Atlanta? You were very jet lagged. How jet lagged are you now? Yeah, uh, now it's a little bit better, but we went to bed so early, 8 p.m. or something, and we woke up so many times. Now it's uh, breakfast time with the team, and then we have shuttle to the media. We're gonna take some nice pictures, and we're gonna go into our practice room and prepare. Did you manage to see? Yeah, oh, it's not like a goat. We'll Woke up a little bit early, but that's fine. Yeah, we posted some great <laughs> pictures in this room. Yeah, there at 4 a.m. Send me one now. Hey. Good morning, everyone. What do we do the break room? Break room? Yeah. It's not even a room. It's like prac cubicle. But it's nice, we got a nice welcome message. Got a little koala here. You can't uh, scream your stra uh, strats here. What strats? Do we have any? <gasps> There's no roof. There's no roof. It's a uh... better stage than uh, Atlanta, I agree. Okay? Yes, yeah, yeah. sure. The way it will work is basically the same, same thing as we spoke about during boot camp and online meetings, etc. So we are going to um, take it a little bit more loose than normally what we did. Focus on having fun, enjoy the game. Today after the media, I want everybody to play. So we're just going to stay here for a few hours, whether that means uh, deathmatch or face it preferably or matchmaking or whatever. That's basically up for you, up to you guys. Tonight at some point, since we have the early game tomorrow, I'm going to work with Iliad. Uh, if he's even awake otherwise I'll do it myself um, but the way that we're gonna do it with the uh, anti and game plan and, and all these kind of things is basically that I'm going to talk with Otna at some point and then it's uh, Otna's decision what he's going to present to you right no more than positions nothing more nothing less we're inside the arena if you like look straight up where you see our teammates practically you can see uh, play lounge it's pretty good actually I've already been and checked it out but I want to show you guys how good it is, so let's go. As you can see, so this is the lovely one that I think it's like a FIFA area. You can play, uh, you know, I'm not sure. I only saw that FIFA. I think maybe there is some possibilities here as well. Some drinks, some snacks. Uh, there's a makeup room here as well. You know, first time I see in an event, fresh popcorn. Not really a popcorn over, but you know. I would like to check in. Can you make a call? <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's uh, LeBron James. Yeah. You have booked uh, your hotel? <laughs> hotel? Yeah. Not in here, I have. Like. Having breakfast, Martin? How do I put it on? It's not that complicated, Martin. Shut up. Any more complaints? Look, I took the wrong shirt. <laughs> Need bigger shirts. I'm not sure if it's uh, something wrong with the diet or if it's a club, but put it on the club. What did you say? I can't breathe in this shirt. I took the wrong one. Is it 3XL? The one where I was smaller. Is it 3XL? No, it's not 3XL, it's XL. Don't stand on the camera and say it's 3XL, it's too small. <laughs> Look, I can't read! Me and Otta has booked the... Uh, booked the zoo for later. We're gonna go and look at animals. Again? Uh, different one. How would you rate the zoo? It was good uh, weather. They had Pepsi Max. Ice cream without milk. No animals. They had a tiger and they had... Uh, Baby kangaroos, baby crocodiles, and a lot of empty cages. I don't know what's going on with uh, the empty cages, but... Final character, 1 character? to 10. Character? 1 to 10? 1 not 1 to 6, like a roll of dice. That dies, you know? Yeah, 1 to 6. 2. And you? 2.5. There's no 2.5 in dice. No, that's exactly true. You can't roll a 2.5. 3. 3. Got it. Okay, 
How are you fixing your uh, settings? Yes, I am uh, just copying the usual stuff that I have home. It's easier with pictures, you know. So guys, me and I finished for today. Um, I'm gonna go and get some sleep. Pretty jet lag. Uh, might hit the pool, and it's uh, a new day tomorrow, and the game starts, and uh, hopefully we get some W's in the chat. Peace out. Good morning, your legends. Legends. Morning, again. Morning. Jet lag. Full jet lag. Good morning. Good morning. Vibe blowing up the jack, got the loud jumping up the bag. Everything I'm on slack. Everything I do is. Jumping up the bed, vibe blowing on my jet, got the loud jumping up the bed. Ancient. Happy? Very happy. Everything I do is fuck. Got the bed jumping up the bed. Another milestone, look at that. Paper boy, got my paper route, till I'm six down on my back. I'm an old soul like my dad. My old girl still a fan. Yo, girl, at the live show, so don't act like I ain't the man. I'm kicking my feet up, they freak like a wreath. I'm calm, but I'm teed up, just flip me a stack. Some of the things that we work with uh, lately has been either trading, jealousy things, like make sure to build bang when we need to build bang. Don't be over eager. Have fun, stay loose around everything, listen to Rodney and with the calls and, and so on, but at the same time, take it serious. Alright? Do that, then we go to the One, two, three. We don't know that it's yeah, set no as well. Just swinging in from the deep ball, all together, Apex, feeling confident. They're in stasis, they're waiting for these repeats. Is he going solo? Big damage onto both. Let's see what Sunday School can do. Oh. We're trying to get back. Good as it come, I'm good as it gets. Figure out which way to look, saw the barrel of the little bit too much noise will draw the attention right back. Has got Reckon's killed. Oh, Jacob is just too good sometimes. Gun, but Jacob is busy. Unfortunately, no room for Sunday School to work with whatsoever. They've been completely overwhelmed. One v four, no more for Mizzy. Ben's got a tech nine, some util, but he's not going to have a chance to think. It's easy pickings. It's apex Well played, good with some confidence. That's what you know, boys. Good job. You wanted to choose the map, right? So tell me, what map did you want to play? I saw oh, that all the Australian teams play so far, right? Or they have a total of nine yeah. rounds. What do you hope for? Combat. I hope for overpass. Uh, okay. Norwegian map. There's a chance that they're playing overpass. The they banned uh, Anubis. No, they banned Ancient. So we banned Anubis and I'm playing overpass. Happy? I'm very happy with this people. You feeling good before the game out now? Of course. Right. Always right. feeling good before a game. But uh, it will be a hard fight, you know, so we have to be sharp from the start and uh, keep the energy level up the whole game. From the papers, from what we talked about, just read the game once we're live. Have fun, enjoy it. Right? We want revenge against these guys. Yes, uh, it's a practice. Let's go <laughs> practice day today. Practice Best day. of ones. Uh, one scrim, four pass, let's go. Relax. Good energy, boys, right? All the way through. One, two, three. Hey, 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 hey
to be real. I mean, they've got no armor at the very least, so Norway's going to make short work with the MP9. Needs to be careful, though, that he can Lackey saw them, though. Yeah, Lackey's getting caught out of position. Is he going to ace with nothing in control? Caught on the cross by Jacob. At least the MP9's going to be prepared, but Flash over the top to try to set things up. Sasanito. White doesn't get the kill initially. Norway in the one on one doesn't quite manage to get it done. MP9 heard, but Gork has got too many players to shoot at. Being made by Apex, so Aurora oh. able to read into that resource. Just decimates Sassanito and Norway getting himself one more as well. There is nothing at all to be done on the end. Gork's going to have to back his way off, still trying to dance around and see if he can find some headshots. But Deco can maybe find an angle. <laughs> Hot flash, but yeah, I mean, that's the thing. See, Resalt now walking his way up short. Want to play on that side, though, that they need to clear out. Sent close, he'll drop the deck on the play, but there's just one, two, three, 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 and more or less, Nico and Jacob, this could be round deciding and potentially game deciding. Might well be. He will remain unchecked and that'll be another easy one. Apex, they might just do it right here, right now. Right at the 11th hour, Aurora can't quite get enough. And it's just Deco, a one on five. This is going to book their ticket into the ESL Challenger Melbourne playoffs for 2024. And there it is, well done from Sense and well done from Apex. How did it go? Uh, went well. We went. Uh, we won the game. So, but like uh, Seaside was, uh, to be honest, really bad. Uh, we were falling, doing the same mistakes as we have been doing for the last month, two months, where we are playing one by one and not working together as a team. And but we managed to pull back on the CT side and really happy that everybody is playing for each other and for the team, which is uh, what we need in order to win. So. Happy now, uh, and uh, just have to prepare for Sunday for the semi-final. Yo guys, how are you feeling? Uh, we are feeling pretty good. Um, we won two games today and we ended up going 2-0 in our group, so we're having tomorrow off day and we're playing on Sunday. Uh, it was really nice today that we managed to win the both games against uh, Aurora and uh, Sunday School. So we're feeling pretty confident, I can say. And thank you so much. See you in uh, Sunday, semi-finals, probably against MIBR. Yes, thank you so much. Good night. You sleep well? Hey guys, actually okay. fall asleep at, at 12.30. Yes. Somehow, I don't know how. Because yesterday and uh, before yesterday I fall asleep at 7 p.m. every time. So we ordered McDonald's at 12.30 with uh, Mr. Joachim. It was very nice and uh, I slept okay. I woke up, I went to the gym. I had a breakfast and now we are heading to the venue for some signing session. Good morning. We can't sign this one yet. But uh, after Sunday you can sign the camera. Uh, we, ordered, we, we ordered at 11 and the driver was so fucking late, he fell asleep. I came down to pick the McDonald's, I came back, I woke up Yot, and he's like, okay, time to eat. <laughs> he woke up, he <laughs> ate. Oh, what a shot. Pass! Nice. Nice, okay. Nice! What did he? Nice!
guys, we just finished eating uh, Korean barbecue. Uh, all the boys were out trying to stay awake because our jet lag is kind of hitting us. Um, we're playing semi-final tomorrow against the uh, MIBR. Preparation is done and uh, hopefully we'll play the final and hopefully we'll win a trophy. And uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Morning. Good morning. Can you get on the street? Yes. Slept a lot, like 10 hours. Another day, another game. We're playing against MIBR in the first game, so um, I think it's gonna be hard because I know they want to win really badly. We want to win really badly, so it doesn't really matter that it's a semi final. Like, they're gonna fight, we're gonna fight. So uh, hopefully, we'll get out on top. Caps on? No. It's a big gamble. A big gamble, but we take it. Alright, let's go. Ready for the groundbreaking reaction? You guys go, baby. Baba, how are you feeling now? Good. Warming up, checking my gear. So everything should be good. You happy with the maps you're playing? Yes. First time new. Boys. Uh, yeah. No matter what happens today, no matter if it's uh, one game or two games or two or three maps or whatever the case might be, I want you to make the most out of it, have fun, uh, be together around this, enjoy the moment, like hype the fuck out of each other, that's one thing. Hype the fuck out of the crowd, like if you need to act like maniacs or when Sasa is making an important clutch and he stands on top of the, on top of the disc and rips apart his shirt and stuff like this, then it uh, would be perfect, right? He needs to have as much fun as possible, that's the only thing that matters today. Right. Uh, me and Orton has gone through like with the uh, do's and don'ts and how we want to play and how we should do. Uh, so just be good at listening to, to his calls, especially the ending calls. But even more than that, let's help each other today, right? Let's not, don't fall into the same trap as we did in that overpass game on the T side in the first half. I want you to be able to actually swing together, right? Work together, talk to each other, die for each other, right? You do that, then we fucking just dominate these guys. And then let's take the first map. Let's have a first win on Nuke. We have a chance to have a 100% win rate today, boys. So let's take it, right? Let's, let's fucking go. One, two, three. Apex! Come to Apex quite nicely. Util. The duel is tough in the corner. He's not going to be seen. Fighting in the flames gets one of his own and still is living. Ridiculous scenes that he's alive here. Oh. But that's oh. all packed. And it's up to Sassanino who thinks so solid. Isolates the first smoke to play around. Cooking his hurt. Oh, he knows that he's no. in there. The clock. It's happening. It's ringing. It's the time. Happening. Oh. It's ticked away at MIBR! Lock it in! He flashes the go to break. Now they can't see too much, but they can keep hitting. Can keep hitting. Isolate and exit swing. Well, out here from Rogue, he sees another in Donut. Has that info. Okay. Big kills start to come. He's just going to tap it, and that smoke is going to be a real problem. They do manage to navigate it. So now he's left it close. Still finds him has me here. How's he done that, bro? 14 points of health, still finds two more. Oh, the lineup ain't quite there this time. 13 to 9. Only one round found from MIBR on the team side. And that'll be that for Ancient. Yeah, Apex really stepping up when it needed most. See how Apex fare on a map like Nuke. Straight on in though, into this top side, they're not messing about. Jacob's already under pressure. Sassanito's helping him out, but there we go. And the fast start from MIBR falls apart. Don't want to mess around with him, Jacob. Three peaks, he gets three. It's easy for him when they line up. Jacob, Jacob. Backside 
yard, but the A site now. Problems. Sanido here. Oh, oh. has going to get here just in the nick oh. of time. Getting both on the quick flank out for being spotted there. Oh, Sani is ready for that lower side. Get the air. Is it Receive it. Oh. As well as some more. Oh, oh that's damn nice. That spray is going to be enough to find sense. It's all coming down. Meanwhile, it's safe is here to take it out right now. Flash will be coming from that mega side, and we are going to OT as well with knives out. Oh, it's no. easy. Pickies has dropped. Stick around. No speed trainer for yet. Oh, it's Sunny. That's the linchpin of a kill. Sticko, 1v3 is unachievable. MIPR, get it done in overtime. 16 to 12 to send us all the way to the news. And Lucas uh, last. Boys, we're just going to do positions for this last map. We're just going to use uh, pistols, whatever is uh, the first one to call someone. Something. Use the stuff that we have practiced. If you keep talking and hyping each other like we did on the first map, then we're going to win this. If we meet in for the last map and let this uh, this map break us, then we lose this. It's that simple. But guys, when we're working this map control, we need to go more together. Like right now, everyone is going one by one, and just holding one by one angle. Like we need to talk to each other and go together because there's so many rounds where they're just pushing us and killing one guy, and the other guy is holding in a different angle. We don't need to go into specifics on new because we're gonna play on newbies now. It's just in general, we need to talk more to each other and go more together. But there is also like, if this fucking default doesn't work, change it up. Like, we play default every round. Yeah. Every don't fucking be, round. Don't be stuck in this nuke now. No, but, no, no, but it's the same thing on the newbies. Like, if the default doesn't work, switch it up. Yeah. Don't fucking play this default if it doesn't work. Yeah, On that cross site, but on the ground, headshot found, making noise, walkie pushing, trying to find Renault, but Insani's there to fall in. It's all on sense to make it happen. The re peak sends him to the grave, and Jacob won the beat for it. Oh, and five. <laughs> Hope has missed the bomb as well, and things get real awkward real quick. But the time, he has been a quick half of Counter Strike, no success thus far. Exit. The MIBR, and he's going to oh. continue. The man, the myth, the legend. He's slowing down and giving opportunity to take him this one v five man goes forward, but there's too many guns to deal with. And we've got a 13 to zero to close out the series. MIBR is the first team playing later today in the grand final for the World Cup Series. Yesterday we got knocked out, um, choked I would say a fair bit. We were up 9-3 on the second map in the semi-final. Ended up losing that one. Uh, we had like, you know, nuke prepped for this tournament, kind of as a surprise. We took them off guard and everything was working according to the plan. And then, I don't know, we were up 11-3 and we maybe thought it was already done. And then, you know, everything just went to shit from there. And then last map 13-0, kind of embarrassing. Today it's travel day, 30, 30 plus hours, you know, home. Uh, after a loss like that and, you know, a tournament that you could have won, it's definitely gonna, you know, be a long travel. And I think the group is pretty, I would say pretty far down at the moment. We're not really enjoying the time being and um, we are gonna try to get our shit together, but, you know, things might happen, you know. Um, we have a couple more lands before, you know, the, the summer break comes and we have some online tournaments. Hopefully we can turn it around, but at the moment I know it's looking dark, but, you know, brighter times probably ahead. Um, and yeah, thank you for everyone that is always supporting us and, you know, still believe and we'll try to, you know, do better.